Hello and welcome to another new video on how to become a counseling psychologist in India or a therapist or a counselor <laughs> and start your practice ethically and profitably without any problem from any agencies including the Rehabilitation Council of India, the famous RCI. So let us start with the basic academic qualifications one needs to get started as a therapist or a counselor or a counseling psychologist. Given that there are no regulatory bodies monitoring counseling psychologists in India, majority have exploited the area. People so far would go do a two-year degree in MA psychology in person uh, or online and then open a clinic as a counseling psychologist. Some did not even bother to do an MA psychology but just a BA psychology and they became therapists. These are the reasons why most people with mental health issues prefer visiting the psychiatrists for tangible output, whether good or bad, over visiting a therapist because most of these therapists, psychologists, could not effectively help them. They would think that these therapists or psychologists are just good speakers and they would uh, listen without giving them any tangible roadmap or any solution to overcoming their mental health issues. So let me know in the comments if you have had such experience with any random therapist or counselor. Okay, moving forward, in your interest, I would like you to complete your graduation and master's with elective or minor in counseling. After your MA psychology program, do a one year PG diploma in counseling psychology. Then consider doing a PhD in counseling psychology the more you have training, the better prepared you are for the future, the more competent and effective you will become with your vast knowledge of psychotherapy and psychotherapeutic models. Nobody can then dismiss you as a top therapist because while you will have to talk technically, but it will be training and therapy oriented, not like agony aunts and uncles. Yeah. When you get started on your academic journey, you have to evaluate certain things and they are measuring your financial resources, time you have in hand to complete all your academic programs and work dependencies. You have to think through things so that you can know your priorities given that you now have an idea of how to be the best counseling psychologist in the town, at least from an academic point of view. It is like all roads must lead to Rome before it is too late. For understanding your finances better, check your current liabilities. Your future liabilities as a married or a single person. If you have to help your aging parents retire soon, how much of savings you have? How much is your budget for getting trained as a counseling psychologist? There are so many areas you have to think through. If you are a working professional with already five to six years of work experience, maybe in the IT world, consider if you are determined about your career switch and leave your stable a job or your good or bad boss, whatever, because end of the day, professional security ascertains financial and social security. Together, they cushion you through emotionally tough times and physical challenges, right? Don't be impulsive about your career choices because you hear mental health services are increasing in India and so as a counseling psychologist, you can make so much of money. Okay, now you've got to understand that unlike rehabilitation psychologists or clinical psychologists in India, you do not have anything like registered counseling psychologist as Rehabilitation Council of India as of 2024 does not monitor it. So. Besides academic qualifications, your choice of college or university adds a lot of credibility. For example, if you do your bachelor's uh, program in counseling psychology from Tata Institute of Social Sciences or say your post-graduation uh, diploma in counseling from Nimhans, it will automatically attract more trust than you doing a program from a nameless academic institution despite paying a lot of money. Go for government colleges and universities, even though you have to crack the entrance exams. So 
All in all, assess your current financial, professional, personal liabilities and accordingly get bachelor's and master's in psychology with focus on counseling, get a postgraduate diploma in counseling psychology, do certification courses and internships, the more the merrier. Everything will count toward your experience and training and make you a choice for universities to select you and that will make you a choice for people seeking therapy to select you. Interesting, right? Simultaneously, if you can have a social media account where you present yourself confidently, you know, engaging with people on safe public practices uh, for better emotional health, you are all ready to start your practice. Don't hit the practice right away after MA though. Throughout your bachelor's and master's in psychology, focus on learning therapeutic models and internships. Start practicing after PJ diploma in counseling psychology, which is a year's program you can do after master's. Then with time, with some savings, you can enroll for your PhD, which will qualify you to take senior roles in international schools in India or abroad or professorship in universities. By the way, government PhDs give you stipend as well that can supplement your income and give you a chance to advance your research. The four years you spend practicing as a counseling psychologist after your PG diploma in counseling psychology to completing your PhD, you are already a scientist with a doctorate to your credit. By the way, don't forget to get some professional memberships as you have more funds because those will keep you at the helm of global psychological practices and developments. So how does this sound? The most important mindset you can have in all of these is to connect with practicing therapists, counseling psychologists, professors of counseling psychology, clinical and psychiatry. You know, you have to find out all the people related uh, to your career path because in the long run, you will have to work with them, not your good relationships with them. The best is, you know what? It is not an alternative to anything I said so far, but it is the best nonetheless. It is to follow my channel and join my group for all things psychology, like news, updates, instant questions. You will become a badass if you are not one already. Check the links in the description, okay? And yes, if you want a specific career counseling, I do offer paid consulting. Uh, again, the information is in the description. All right, so that is all. For questions, use the comments. I challenge you to ask questions that help you and others, okay? And for all my effort here, your appreciation would mean subscribing to the channel that helps me and you, both of us. Deal, right? Okay, thank you for your time. Have a good day. Bye now.